So Fit Panta Kun 2 just got updated and we got like so much new stuff. For example, a brand new ride, a new redesigned ride of the launched Freefall and just so much more. So this will be one hell of a big video. So sit back and relax and let's talk about the update. What's new, my opinion and so much more. Let's just get straight right into this. <laughs> So let's first begin with the new intense rides. It should be around here somewhere. Dennis did actually mention before the update came out that we will get a brand new intense ride. And here it is. It is the brand new G-Force, which I think I do actually know this ride. And it is, it was pretty intense. Like when I went on this IRL, it was like at a fair. It was pretty darn intense and I just got a mission uh, reward. Wow, nice. Okay, and just the detail on this, it looks so freaking cool. I didn't actually know it was called a G-Force ride, but now I do. And holy crap, this looks freaking insane. I'm not even joking right now. This, this is actually extremely cool. Next up, we have the brand new launched Freefall and it just looks so freaking good. Okay. Like the old one, in my opinion at least, yes, it is very basic, but it did already look quite good. But this thing, this just looks insane. I do think, no, wait, they are literally the same size I just noticed. So that's, that's actually kind of handy because like the rides have been getting quite big uh, recently. And here we see how it just moves. It just looks so freaking good in my opinion. Was this worth the wait? Absolutely. We have like not had a new update for like, I don't know, like two months now, which is pretty long time. So Dennis really took his time here, but it was definitely worth the wait, like already. And we still have so much more to go through. Let's move on to the next part, even though like, I don't know why I'm literally floating like this right now, but let's move on to the next part. Next up, we have the staggered seat skin for the hypercoaster. Now, I can't actually place this right because, well, I'm extremely low on credits. So, yeah, but still, it does look extremely good in my opinion. I also do like how the front seats are like two uh, at the front and then like two in the back. It does look extremely, extremely good. And now let's, let's look at the new terrain materials, which we actually had an update earlier for, for the primitives that we had a lot more materials and not only primitives, just so much more. But now we can even see it at terrain, as you can see here, it starts at, I'm pretty sure, the packed snow. And well, as you can see here, we have like new packed snow, leafy grass, ground, mud, rough rock, dark rough, uh, the rock, uh, limestone, sandstone, basalt, salts, glacier, crack lava. Well, it's it's so much to name. It's um, yeah, but actually, this is really really useful, especially if you do not have like the uh, the disabled glitches game pass, for example. It, this can this can definitely become quite handy and now you can even just edit the terrain a bit more like I, I don't really know how to say that how to say this to be honest but it just looks so freaking good like let's be honest here and now we also have like 26 new primitives materials which is a lot like 26 new ones that is a lot and we did actually need a lot more new primitives as you can see here it literally starts here which oh my god wait this can actually be extremely useful now thinking of it like this here for example you can now actually like use this as a tube or something or something else and if you don't have disabled collisions that this will be extremely handy for you because if i'm if i'm not mistaken Without disabled collisions, you cannot scale, for example. So this can actually be very, very handy if you do not have that game pass. And the game pass is quite expensive, so I understand if you cannot purchase it. So let's see, do we have any new ones? Probably. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we definitely do. I'm pretty sure these ones are new. This one also, yeah, for sure. This one, this one, yeah, there are definitely quite a bit out there. There is a high chance that I'm missing a lot, but still, it, it, this is extremely, extremely handy. Like, we definitely needed this. Oh yeah, here, here for example, like, uh, or like a, a triangle we have, uh, and 
I don't see any much else. Oh wait, this thing also. Oh yeah, that can also be quite handy. But yeah, as you can see here, we have so much new handy primitives. This this will be extremely useful for in the future. And it's just, yeah, future builds. Yeah. Let's move on. Okay, well, there is so much uh, edit that I literally have to look back at the change log of what is added again. And I do see when removing a piece in the track editor, the track editor will now try to copy the curve or basic editor piece of this removed track piece, allowing you to adjust the track more easily, which is also extremely handy, um, especially for those type of coaster builders like, I don't know, Okay, I'm not actually really good at, at naming good coaster builders. Cozy is not one of them though, that's for sure. Um, let's see here. Edit, when building cube paths, a more accurate preview of the cube path and how it will connect will not be shown. You can now also rotate the cube path to control in which direction it will connect manually. Okay, wait, so I do actually want to see this. So, oh, oh. Wait, what's this? Wait, oh, oh, wait, what? Okay, it's not exactly something we actually needed, but this does, this is quite interesting. But we also have like a lot smoother animation for when placing her, which is also kind of handy. So I guess Dennis really wanted to copy uh, City Skylines 2 here, but it does look extremely good. Not gonna lie. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a brand new video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video slash short slash live stream. As always, Danios. Huh?